Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and welcome back to Ensuring the Built Environment. This week we're talking about demand response and how demand response can reduce risk for energy producers and utilities. Well, if you're not familiar with the term demand response, demand response is a type of financial incentive program designed by utilities to reward large energy consumers or even producers to uh, reduce their energy consumption or produce more energy at times of peak demand. And there are two uh, types of demand response programs. Typically they fall into two categories. There's price response and then there's load response. And in the world of insurance and risk management, I mostly deal with the load response uh, types of programs that are out there. So you might be asking yourself, well, why would a utility want to reward someone for reducing the amount of energy that they consume? Well, it all comes down to how the grid works, essentially. So the grid has, and all the power plants on it, have to be designed to be able to withstand the maximum threshold of energy consumption on the grid at the, at the, the peak time. And so for most of the year, the amount of energy capacity is available is actually over capacity. It's, it's built, designed that way with something called a reserve margin. And reserve margin is basically an amount of excess capacity on the grid that the utilities have to generate in moments of peak demand. So say in the middle of August where everybody, it's 100 degrees out and everybody has their air conditioning on, at moments like that, the utility is, uh, is interested in paying demand response uh, program participants to reduce the amount of energy that they're using. And in return, they'll compensate them if it's a large real estate owner or just a large energy producer. And the reason that they would do that is because it's less expensive for the utility to pay those uh, consumers of energy, so, you know, a large, um, uh, you know, real estate portfolio owner or just a larger, another large consumer of energy, it's less expensive for them to ask those uh, participants to reduce their energy consumption than it is for them to build additional incremental capacity. So it's always been a challenge for utilities because they have to invest in not only building the power plants, but also in maintaining them and uh, managing their renewable portfolio standards, building out renewable energy, wind and solar power. So it's a constant uh, tug of war in terms of managing the capacity and then also maintaining profitability for the utility. So a new way that utilities are looking into making uh, a, an incremental revenue stream off of that reserve margin is through Bitcoin mining. And so what Bitcoin mining enables a utility to do is to essentially do another type of demand response that is either third party or maybe even first party from the utility. And the reason is that Bitcoin mining is a very profitable way to use reserve margin energy or even wasted energy or excess energy that's being uh, used or, or generated in terms of like flare gas or uh, excess energy methane that is being uh, created by a coal or propane power plant or even just excess wind or solar capacity that's generating too much energy that's not being used, it's being driven essentially into the ground. The utility can use that excess energy to create an incremental revenue stream from uh, mining Bitcoin. And the nice thing about that is the utility can essentially turn that on and off uh, at almost at, almost at any time uh, based on market need. So when the utility is in that normal space for most of the time throughout the year, they can be using that reserve margin to generate incremental revenue, which will help them uh, develop and invest in new renewable energy power plants and also maintain the grid so that the power doesn't go down and we don't experience brownouts and blackouts but also then they can also use that uh, time to uh, generate incremental revenue from uh, Bitcoin mining. And so they can uh, drive that up or down as needed uh, as the demand on the grid uh, changes. 
And uh, so it's just a very fascinating uh, market that we're going into that I think the next 10 years are gonna be fascinating. Uh, and a lot of third party uh, Bitcoin mining companies are starting to help utilities reduce their risk by investing in those types of systems. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful and interesting. Um, if you have questions about demand response or risk management, reducing your uh, risk and lowering your insurance costs, if you have a utility or you're an energy producer or even a large real estate owner, uh, feel free to schedule an appointment with me at the link below this video. Thanks again and have a great day.